Grizzly versus Anaconda. Who would win? By Caleb. Introduction. Grizzlies and anacondas are both dangerous animals. Although, could you picture them in a fight? Who would win? I will give you information on their food, offensive skills, characteristics, and fun facts to help you decide on this tough decision. Which animal do you think has what it takes? What's cooking? Both of these animals have large menu. Snakes will mostly eat insects, rodents, birds, eggs, fish, frogs, and other mammals. Although in this case, snakes like anacondas and pythons are big enough to eat an alligator, pig, or deer. On the other hand, believe it or not, 75% of a grizzly's diet is berries. Also, a grizzly bear will eat apples. Although a grizzly bear is a big meat eater, meat eater eating moose, elk, caribou, rodents, sheep, grubs, clams, salmon, trout, and anything they can get their paws on, which means things like honey. The bad thing is that a few people lose their lives because of grizzlies each year. After hearing what they eat, you can say that grizzlies are omnivores and ana anacondas are carnivores. Also, a grizzly being on the top of its food chain with its only predator being man. For an anaconda, its only predators are large cats like jaguars. Also, black caiman. Combining both a grizzly's and anaconda's diet, this is a lot of feud, food for a human. Time to attack. These animals are both very dangerous creatures. There are about 3,000 species of snakes in our world, and about 600 of them are venomous. Being bit by one of those 200 venomous snakes requires lots of medical attention. An anaconda is one of those 400 non-venomous snakes. Anacondas actually wrap around their prey and squeeze up to around 9,000 pounds per square inch until it can't breathe and dies. This means that an anaconda is a boa constrictor, with the anaconda being the biggest snake in the world. An anaconda getting ready to constrict this animal. Snakes may have very sharp teeth, but all snakes swallow their play, prey whole without chewing. Also, an anaconda is not just a land animal, it's a water animal too. It can hold its breath for 10 minutes. Surprisingly, an anaconda can also climb to heights of 30 feet. An anaconda will not use its teeth that much, but a grizzly will. A grizzly's bite force is at 1,200 pounds per square inch. A grizzly uses its 42 teeth and 3 inch fangs to rip flesh and chew berries. A grizzly's mouth showing its teeth. A grizzly also uses its 1 to 4 inch claws to scratch and penetrate its prey. A grizzly will also use these sharp, dangerous claws to pick berries. A grizzly bear's paw showing its sharp claws. Grizzlies are norm normally solitary animals, although you can find them hunting together for salmon. A grizzly is often seen with cubs, which makes them very aggressive. That causes the grizzly bear to see a human as a threat. The grizzly bear is the second biggest bear in the world. Adult female grizzlies weigh 290 to 440 pounds, while adult males weigh on average four, 440 to 790 pounds. Defining qualities. Both of these animals have their own personalities. In my research, I found this fact. All anacondas have nostrils and eyes on the top of their heads, which allow them to see above the water while remaining mostly submerged. They have a thick black stripe that runs from the eye to the jaw. Anacondas have small scales that grow larger toward the posterior of their bodies. Another article I read stated, the maximum verified length of an anaconda is 30 feet, but on average, they go, grow around 15 feet for females and around nine feet for males. An anaconda looking above the water while remaining mostly underwater. Anacondas are semi-aquatic snakes found in tropical South America, where anacondas live. They are some of the largest snakes in the world and are known for their swimming ability. They can swim at a speed of up to 10 miles per hour and are able to move up to five miles per hour on land. 
A grizzly is able to run up to 35 miles per hour on land, but can swim at a speed of 50 kilometers per hour. Grizzly bears have a multitude of strengths. They are highly intelligent and have excellent memories. Detecting food from great distances away, grizzlies have an astute sense of smell, even better than that of a hound dog's. As a matter of fact, a grizzly bear can smell something from over 10 miles away. In addition to that, the smell sensing area of a grizzly bear's nose is 100 times better than ours. A grizzly bear's nose. Anacondas and grizzly bears can both swim and go on land with a great sense of smell. Did you know? The biggest snake in the world, the green anaconda, can grow up to 10 meters in length and can weigh over 50 pounds. If you were to compare the green anaconda to the smallest snake in the world, the thread snake, which reaches a maximum adult length of only 10.4 centimeters and an average weight of 0.6 grams, it makes them seem even bigger. Here are the different types of anacondas and their lengths. Many people do not know the difference between poison and venom. Poison is absorbed through the skin, eaten or breathed in, while venom is injected into the victim by means of a bite or sting. Also, did you know that the anaconda, that anaconda means great swimmer in Latin? Both of these animals, grizzlies and anacondas, are hunted. Therefore, two types of bears are extinct. The small-faced bear and the silver bear. Luckily, there are no anacondas close to extinction. Speaking of silver, grizzlies are also called silver strips. While their scientific name is Ursus arcturus horribilis. Final thoughts. We have heard facts on what they eat, how they eat, what they are like, and more. Maybe you learned something you did not know before. If the anaconda and the grizzly were to fight in water, I think the anaconda would win. Although if their battler was, were to occur on land, I think the grizzly would win. Who do you think would win? If you are still not sure, watch some videos and do some research for yourself.